People hit by flooding a year ago, north of Sydney, are suffering again being swamped by water, despite the forecast storms being less intense than feared. And worse conditions could be on the way at Windsor, on the Hawkesbury River northwest of Sydney, with the NSW says predicting water levels could rise further. While levels have peaked at nearby North Richmond, at 12.90 metres, they continue to rise at Windsor and major flooding is possible into today, with rain to continue. It's not yet known how many homes and businesses have been flooded, but images including from the village of Sackville, near Windsor, show homes underwater almost up to their roofs and debris scattered across the area. Ken Anderson inspects the inundated sites at Eulabourne Ski Park in Sackville North, near the Hawkesbury River. SMH Windsor Bridge is underwater, just like it was this time last year, despite the fact it was supposed to be flood-proof. Ross Gerard from Windsor said it came up quicker than last year. Windsor Bridge is underwater, just like it was this time last year, despite the fact it was supposed to be flood-proof. 9 News Ben Sullivan had only just fixed his house after last year's floods. It's a lot of work, a lot of effort, it's just draining, he told 9 News. Some people evacuated yesterday from Shane's Park near Blacktown, said they'd lost everything, as storms which have 10 people further north headed to Sydney. As well as helping people including a family with a 12-day-old baby escape, NSW says crews helped get a cow to safety, as well as 21 dogs and puppies, plus four alpacas and two lizards. Locals watch as the Windsor Bridge is swallowed by flood water from the Hawkesbury River, north of Sydney. Flavio Brancaleone And while people living in the Red Bank area of North Richmond can return, the village of Wiseman's Ferry, which sits right on the Hawkesbury, is also still on alert, with the possibility of a 3.50 m peak on Friday afternoon, with the high tide. There is a chance of yet more showers and storms for Sydney today. The Windsor Bridge partly submerged under rising floodwaters along the Hawkesbury River, north of Sydney, NSW. Alert over for many. Over half a million people were under evacuation warnings or orders on Wednesday, but conditions have eased in many areas, especially in the south and southwest of Sydney. Alerts are over in George's Hall, parts of Holsworthy, parts of Milpera, parts of Picnic Point and Warwick have also now been cancelled. People in Warrenora, south of Sydney can also return home. The Georges River peaked in Liverpool and Milpera on Thursday, with flooding no longer expected in both areas, as rainfall eased. No further flooding is expected in the Georges River, which peaked at 3.47 metres at Liverpool Bridge at 9pm on Wednesday. Residents attempt to rescue deer from rising floodwaters along the Hawkesbury River, north of Sydney. Meanwhile, floods continue along the Nepean rivers at Menangle and Camden, but are now said to have peaked. Severe weather warnings were cancelled for Sydney and the Illawarra last night. Experts admitted most of Sydney had dodged the worst of the weather. Lucky we were spared the worst for the metropolitan area, and the rains weren't as heavy and as intense, as had been forecast by the Bureau of Meteorology, NSW says Commissioner Carleen York told a current affair. But it's been very active up around the central coast and this weather cell has been moving up into the Newcastle area. However, the mid-north coast is in the firing line for thunderstorms and heavy rain, which could cause flash flooding. They could hit Gloucester, Forster, Buladella and Wingham today.